Education Galaxy presents Solving Integer Operations. We're going to explore adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing integers. Let's start by reviewing adding integers. The rules for adding integers depends on the signs of the numbers that you're adding. If they're the same signs, add the numbers and keep the sign. If they have different signs, subtract the numbers and keep the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. Let's look at some examples. 5 plus negative 12. Different signs, so let's subtract. 12 minus 5 is 7. And negative 12 has a bigger absolute value, so my answer is negative. Next, we have negative 10 plus 13. Different signs, again, so subtract we get 3. And 13 has a larger absolute value, so our answer is positive. The last example says negative 8 plus negative 7. Same sign, so let's add. We get 15. And we want to keep the same sign, which is negative. For subtraction, you want to remember the famous phrase, keep change change. It means keep the first number the same, change the subtraction to addition, and change the sign of the second number. After that, you just add. Let's look at some examples. 8 minus negative 2. Keep the 8, change minus to a plus, and change the negative 2 to positive 2. And 8 plus 2 is 10. Next, we have negative 11 minus negative 8. Keep the negative 11, change the subtraction to addition, and change the negative 8 to positive. We get negative 11 plus 8. There are different signs, so we subtract and get 3, and the negative 11 has a larger absolute value, so our answer is negative. Last, we have negative 9 minus 23. Keep the negative 9, change the subtraction to addition, and change the 23 to negative 23. Same sign, so we add the numbers and get 32. And keep the sign, so our answer is negative. Now, let's check out multiplication. The rules for multiplication are to multiply the numbers, and if they have the same sign, the answer is positive. If they have different signs, the answer is negative. Let's try some examples. 4 times negative 8. Well, 4 times 8 is 32, and the signs are different, so our answer is negative. The next problem says negative 3 times negative 12. Well, 3 times 12 is 36, and they have the same sign, so our answer is positive. The last problem says negative 2 times 8. 2 times 8 is 16, and the signs are different, so our answer is negative. And last but not least, let's check out division. The rules for division are the same as multiplication. We want to divide the numbers, and then if they have the same sign, the answer is positive, and if they have different signs, the answer is negative. Let's check out these examples. 15 divided by negative 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5, and since the signs are different, our answer is negative. The next one's negative 49 divided by negative 7. Well, 49 divided by 7 is 7, and the signs are the same, so our answer is positive. And last, we have negative 24 divided by 8. We know 24 divided by 8 is 3, and the signs are different, so our answer is negative. Now we've covered all the rules, so it's time to take what we've learned, mix it in with a little order of operation, and try some more challenging problems. Example 1. Bailey is playing a math game. She chooses three cards. The value of each of her cards is shown. What is the sum of the value of Bailey's three cards? So, if we're looking for the sum, we want to add these values. Let's start with negative 14 plus 6. Different signs, so we want to subtract the values. 14 minus 6 gives us 8. And negative 14 has the larger absolute value, so our answer is negative. Now, we need to add the negative 7. Signs are the same, so we want to add. We get 15 and keep the same sign, negative. So our answer to this problem is negative 15. Let's try another one. Example 2. A teacher wrote this expression on the board. What is the value of this expression? We want to start in the parentheses. Negative 45 divided by 5. 45 divided by 5 is 9, and they have different signs, so our answer is negative. Let's rewrite the rest of this expression. Now, negative 6 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12, and our signs are different, so our answer is negative. 
we get negative 12 minus negative 9. We have to follow the rules of subtraction now. Keep negative 12, change subtraction to addition, and change negative 9 to positive. Now let's add different signs, so 12 minus 9 equals 3, and negative 12 has a larger absolute value, so our answer is negative. We get an answer of negative 3. And that, my friends, is how to perform integer operations. Remember to use the rules for adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing integers. As long as you're following the rules, you can't go wrong. And always follow order of operations, PEMDAS. Lastly, as you should with any problem in math, after you get an answer, it helps to check to make sure your answer makes sense. Catching answers that seem ridiculous will help catch some mistakes. And you are now officially authorized to perform integer operations. Congratulations!